Hey guys, MovieFan here to continue our Megazord project. Right now I'm going to be working on the upper arms. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of the pictures that I took when I made this, so again, I'm going to have to improvise the best I can. Fortunately, this part's pretty simple. First, grab yourself three long pieces of cardboard. Now you'll want them to be long enough to cover your upper arm completely, because these three parts are going to be the front, back, and outside of your arm. The inside piece, which we'll get to later, is going to have to be shorter. Anyway, you want the three pieces to be tall enough to go at least a couple of inches above your shoulder. And of course, you want it to go just about, oh, maybe about half an inch below your elbow. Don't forget, this is just the upper arm. The lower arm is going to be its own separate thing. And no, connecting the two is not an option here. Anyway, once you get the three pieces selected, tape them together to see how it looks. Now, you may have to do some trimming on the front and the back, right here and here. I did that so I could move my arm in and out a lot better. I also did that so it would not interfere with the torso. Once you're satisfied with it, you'll want to cut an arch right here. Now this is where your arm's going to bend up and down, but I'm sure you already figured that out. Not only will this serve as a functional purpose, it will also give you the ability to keep it on your shoulder. Now there are ways to do this with straps and so on, but I couldn't make it work for me. So the most I could do is the old bend the elbow trick. If you got better ways of holding it in place, go ahead and do it. Once you got that the way you want it, you're going to have to grab yourself a smaller piece that'll be your inner arm. It's going to have to come down a little lower, that way you can get your arm in and out. When you're satisfied with that, cover the entire piece with gray duct tape. Repeat this entire process one more time. And I'm sure I don't need to tell you that you'll want to make sure that you can get your other arm into that other piece. Now we're going to work on the shoulder pieces. First, grab yourself eight big square pieces of cardboard and cut them into this shape. Be sure to check your pictures for points of reference, as well as your Megazord toys. Once you got them all cut into shape, grab two of the pieces you cut out, match the edges up, and duct tape them together. Repeat the process three more times. Next, grab yourself a thin rectangular piece and line it up with the back of the square. And I'm talking about the part that's going to face your neck right here. Once you got it lined up with all the corners, duct tape it in place. Then find yourself a long square piece of cardboard. That's going to go right here. And of course, you'll want to make sure it fits all the corners. When you got that lined up, duct tape it into place. And repeat this process one more time. After you do that, cover both pieces with black duct tape, inside and out. That is, if you haven't already done it. After that, line up your shoulder piece with the arm. Once you're satisfied with the angle and where it's sitting, duct tape it into place. Repeat the process one more time, and you have two complete shoulder pieces. Now all we need is the final touches. Grab some yellow duct tape and cover this much of the shoulder. Repeat the process three more times. Next, draw yourself a big letter M on a piece of paper and cut it out. Then grab yourself a piece of cardboard and trace the letter M onto it and cut that out as well. This will be your template for the letter M's we're going to put on the shoulders. Next, cut some big strips of red duct tape and line them up on a piece of plastic. Grab your M template and trace it onto the duct tape. Then cut it out with a utility knife. Peel it up and place it onto the shoulder. Repeat the process three more times and it should look like this. After that, cut three pieces of white duct tape off and place them on the gaps on your letter M. Use your utility knife to cut off the excess. Repeat the process three more times and there you have your upper arms. But of course there's one thing you gotta do. You gotta go to your local thrift store, Target, Walmart, or even eBay and find yourself a long sleeve gray shirt. And I'm talking something that's close enough to the color of gray of that duct tape. I got lucky and found one on eBay. You're gonna need this because this will become your elbows and all that. Because don't forget, we're not gonna connect the lower arms to the upper arms. We need them to move. And this will give you that ability. Stay tuned because soon we're gonna work on the lower arms. This is Movie Fan, signing off.